Welcome to State of Play. Since Sony ain't gonna give y'all a State of Play showcase, I might as well just do one my damn self. You know what I mean? I understand that we all understand and we all come to the common ground and the common knowledge that the last State of Play had us looking like this. Like we was definitely in some damn pain, but fear not people because I'm here right now to give you a State of Play presentation. In this month's news, Everything is on fucking fire. We are firing people left and right. We are laying off people left and right. We are delaying and canceling projects left and right. We are canceling Naughty Dog stuff. We canceling Bungie stuff. And guess what? Guess what else we doing? We kicking people asses to the curb this month too. We said Connie Booth, get your ass out of here. We said Jim Ryan, get your ass out of here. You know what? Let's bring some more people into the fold. How about our old buddy, our old boss, Sean Layton, is still taking shot at us like we don't know what the hell we talking about. We know what we doing. We got VR. We got PlayStation Portal, which is the dumbest handheld ever that requires a Wi-Fi connection just to play the goddamn thing. We know what we doing, Sean Layton. Stop taking shots at us. And Corey Borlaug, Corey Borlaug, 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 whatever the hell your damn name is, how dare you say out of your mouth that the old Sony that we know and love is now dead because we gave Connie Booth the damn boot. What do you know? You're only the producer and the creator of God of War franchise. You don't know damn nothing. And the next thing you know, you got to understand, we are Neil Druckmann people. We and Neil Druckmann, we trust. We will put his ass on a coin and coin it, the Sony motherfucking coin, and then we will sell it to you for the Increased price, just like we did the PS Plus, because I know y'all love playing that, buying that PS Plus. You know, it, 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 it inflated the subscription service. Y'all, 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 y'all enjoy that a lot, don't y'all? And I understand that y'all do not like our VR headsets, but guess what? We gonna keep making games for it for that irrelevant piece of shit because we don't care. Oh, oh, by the way, this is another newsworthy. This is another newsworthy. You know, want to know what it looks like at PlayStation Studios right now? Live look at PlayStation Studios. This is exactly what it looks like. Everything is on fucking fire. But guess what? It's all good. We're going to sell you a PS5 Slim, which ain't really motherfucking Slim at all. It's just another cash grab. But we're going to sell it to you this holiday season. But guess what? You love PlayStation. It doesn't matter what we sell you. You're going to buy it anyway. Oh, and other news. Spider-Man is <laughs> Spider-Man is definitely game of the year material. So go out there and buy it, you know, two more damn times. We might remaster it next year or the year after that. Uh, Cause you know, we have a tendency to keep re-releasing the same goddamn games all over again, but guess what? You're going to buy it anyway. <laughs> so here's the next thing we got to look. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. You got to understand something. Sony greatness awaits. That's our slogan. That's our motto. Greatness awaits. So what greatness do we have for you in 2014 and 2024? Uh, you know what? <laughs> let me break it down for you. Let me break it down for you again. Let, let, me, let me show you what greatness we have awaiting for you. Uh, let's see. Let's go to PlayStation Studios and see what we got. Uh, hmm, let's see. The Remakers of Returnal. Uh, unannounced game. We don't know when that's coming out. I guess we'll go to the next goddamn developer. Insomniac. Well, they're working on a Wolverine game, but they just released Spider-Man 2, so guess what? You ain't playing that shit no time soon either. Uh, but, you know, keep it alive for 2024. Naughty Dog, uh, we just canceled the Factions multiplayer, so guess what? We don't know what the hell is going to happen. You know what? I think we have a great idea for Naughty Dog. I have a great idea for Naughty Dog. We're going to make the re-release another last of us because you're going to buy that shit anyway uh, san diego studio what you working on uh, unannounced title you don't know when you're done with that oh okay nothing there either uh sony santa monica studio what are you working on uh oh we, we really don't know we still got job listings out for that one okay well just yeah yeah no, don't worry about that we, we got more stuff for 2024 coming out what sucker punch Sucker Punch, the people that gave you Ghost of the Shima, what y'all working on? Uh, a future project that's an open world we we don't even know. Okay. All right, let's go to the next studio. Oh, we out of studios. Oh, goddamn, we out of studios. But guess what? Guess what? We're going to sell you Final Fantasy VII again. And guess what after that? We're going to sell you that trash-ass Death Stranding again. That's what we're going to do. Because you know what? You're going to buy the shit because it has a Sony brand on it. <laughs> that's 
typically how a Sony State of Play goes. Over the last course of the last year, that's how it has been, and that's how it has went. But the reality is, of all these facts I just told you about the Sony brand and the PlayStation and the state of Sony, there seems to be an internal crisis going on. There seems to be an internal crisis going on, and we don't know what the fuck is going on, but we need to find out quickly, because it is November, and we do not know what the fuck we are playing on the PS5 in 2024. We don't have any announced titles, we just got rumors, we kicking people to the curb, we don't know what the fuck we doing, we have no vision, we have no direction on what's happening here. So, in all in all, the state of play of PlayStation for this showcase here brought to you by the emperor himself is we are in full fucking crisis mode somebody send us some help because microsoft is about to wax our ass next year in exclusive games and nintendo is going to continue to pound our ass into the ground like they usually do and guess what we're going to prey on our fan base we're going to prey on our fan base like we usually do and we're just going to keep regurgitating the same shit and re-releasing the same shit over and over again. But guess what? Greatness awaits.